Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. This is episode 116, and I said I was going to do comic books all week, but something changed. Um, I had some news that I found out about two weeks ago, and it's been, you know, a lot. Of, I have a lot on my mind. I'm not going to try to bum any of you guys out here. I posted about it on Facebook, and I'm going to try to keep it off the channel for a while until I'm ready to make a video about it. And I also want to get a second opinion. It's health related, so you know, don't freak out too much. It's it's you know something I could probably fight. A lot of people have been very encouraging to me, so you know we'll we'll get through this. Uh, but it, it did change the amount of time I had this week to work on stuff uh, because I have some other things I got to factor in now, and, uh, and also next week with doctors and stuff. So I am still going to do Venomverse and uh you know and poison x i'm going to do those episodes but the one dollar venom comics that have been coming out the true believers i'm probably going to save those videos for like next week or the week after uh when it gets a little bit slower because we actually got some movie news today and i want to talk about it because people were asking me this uh, as early as a couple hours ago hey what songs do you want on the venom soundtrack and i didn't get a chance to answer yet i just saw the comment before i started recording this so i'll definitely answer before i post this uh, but as far as music goes, I just want a good score. Uh, I think a lot of movies nowadays, they do try to put songs, you know, and, you know, things that are like, you know, make a soundtrack and stuff and put that together. And I like that stuff. I mean, I liked in the 90s, like the Crow soundtrack, I really liked. I like the Spawn soundtrack. And I like when albums try to do something different or just try to find something that fits perfectly to the tone of the movie that they're, you know, making. And I would love for something like that with Venom, but because I'm a big Seven Dust fan and because they have an album coming out this year, I wouldn't mind a song from their new album to be in this movie but that be the only song um, that's what I that would be cool uh, but since now we have uh, an answer to kind of that question which is we have the composer that is working on this movie they just announced it. deadline reported it I have the link down below if you want to check it out uh, but the person who is scoring the Venom movie now is Ludwig Gorenson and this guy has a great resume he's worked on Black Panther recently which I thought the mu the music in that movie was very good uh, he also worked on Fruitville Station with uh, Ryan Coogler before you know this and Creed which is awesome and he's also worked with Ruben Fleischer before on uh, 30 minutes or less one of his movies in 2011 uh, but then he's done stuff like Central Intelligence Death Wish and then worked on shows like Community and New Girl and he's even the producer of, uh, of Childish Gambino's albums, uh, you know, Donald Glover. So this guy has a great uh, wide palette of different styles of music he uses, and I think that's perfect because there are times in Venom that I'm going to want to hear something very sci-fi-y, maybe something very ambient, like a John Carpenter score, and there's going to be times where I want like a rhythm and a, and a bass to get your heart pumping and your blood flowing. So there's going to be a lot of stuff uh, and different styles that maybe this movie needs, and if you're going to find one guy to do it, this guy seems like a great choice. So I have a full article, like I said, from Deadline down below if you want to check this out. Glad we got some movie news this week. That's cool. I think that means they're gearing up, uh, you know, for CinemaCon at the end of uh, April where we might get the new trailer, probably get some other stuff. We might get some information about Into the Spider-Verse and maybe the other Venom shared universe movies like, uh, you know, uh, uh, what was it, Morbius and Nightwatch and Silver and Black. Uh, and then maybe even some Spider-Man Homecoming 2 news, but I, I don't know, maybe too early for that. Uh, but I don't know, maybe, because Sony is, you know, they have like a two-hour panel right at the beginning of CinemaCon. Uh, but when I saw this news, that made me feel good, because I was like, hey, cool, we got some movie stuff, and I just didn't have the energy to make a ton of other videos tonight. Uh, so this was something nice and simple I could do and talk to you guys about and bring it to your attention if you haven't already heard. So let me know what you think down below. Uh, you know, you can go pick up the Black Panther score. You can go pick up, uh, you know, the, the Fruitville Station uh, soundtrack or score in Creed as well. And you can just, those three alone, you can hear the different styles that this guy can produce. Just one person can make along with, you know, the people he collaborates with on these soundtracks. So this makes me feel really good about Venom. And at least now I know that Maddie Libatique is, you know, cinematography on this movie. And now you have uh, Ludwig Gorenson. This is at least going to look and sound hopefully different uh, than a lot of things. And of course, obviously this guy did Black Panther. So he's done big budget, you know, superhero movies, but this is going to be like a, you know, a more intimate horror sci-fi film. Film, and I kind of want to see what he can bring to the table with this. So this gets me excited. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.